things that move through fire and find the Echo, see. You have business here. Governor Lueva Alvari. Governor Alvari manages the company's day-to-day -day operations. As you can imagine, this makes her a very busy woman. You are in luck. The governor is between meetings. Go on in. Keeping an eye out. Watcher from the palace, yes? You made quite the impression on the Cantonese. He went on for ages. Welcome. Make yourself comfortable. I am Lueva Alvari, governor in residence of the Valian Trading Company here in Nekataka. What brings you to my door? An interesting question. Director Castor coordinates the Valian Trading Company's operations across the region. He's been eager to speak with you since your little encounter with the Cantonese. You will find his office upstairs. Should you have need of work or information, however, perhaps I can be of assistance. The Royal Dead Fire Company's outpost, yes? Director Castor has some interest in that place, I understand. You will find him upstairs. Was that all? They speak the truth. A watcher is welcome in these times. Under different circumstances, I'd write up papers for an emissary's posting, no? But we have a situation that needs immediate attention. How much do you know about the Luminous Adra trade? Yes, they warned me you had some interesting notions. Let's just say he isn't alone, then. Every viable deposit is of interest to us. Cartographers, surveyors, at any moment we have a dozen expeditions underway. Some weeks ago, we received word of a large quantity of luminous adra on a distant island. Pukukohara. It is not charted on any of our maps. However, Pukukohara is said to neighbor the island of Tikawara, and we've already made contact with the natives there. We dispatched an expedition to Tikawara with instructions to locate the Adra site and determine its value. Our people have neither returned nor sent any word on their progress. We are too long a delayed, and someone must finish the job. A watcher can determine if there is essence in the Adra, if it is worth the trouble and investment to remove it. Information for which we are willing to pay. Not much, unfortunately. A few superstitions among the locals, but they're unusually tight-lipped about the subject. Ideally, but if the worst has come to pass, I would like you to complete the investigation of the Adra deposit. Anything that may assist the company. Then it is worthless, and we save ourselves wasted effort. Either way, you will have fulfilled your end of the bargain. Here, I will mark Tikawara on your map. This will be of some use to you, I think. It entitles you to act as a commissioned agent of the Valiant Trading Company. Present it, and you will be recognized as such. Until then, I believe we are finished. Return here once you have word of our agents and our prize. Oh, and take care upon the open sea. There are greater hazards in these waters than a few pirates. Well, as long as I don't get caught, I guess I wasn't so... I got it.
You can trust me. Uh, a ship! I am saved! Did you hide Kowiki fruit? I hide nothing, you bloated puffer fish. Traitor! Daddy's jaws will close around you! Confess, Tabal, or will you let good food rot? Does mine look like a full belly, idiot? Question the rest of the Raparu. We all hunger. Disgrace. Any other Raparu has worked ten times in a day what you have in your life, and they do not complain. Watcher, we can't just let this injustice stand. Do something, or I might. Y you do? I mean, of course you do. I say, this outsider speaks her mind like a Mataru. Another outsider. You visit Tikawara in hungry times. For what do you make of this hagfish, huh? Will Tamao confess if I tighten the ropes? Pakeho caught this wretch stealing the last of the Koiki fruit. The tribe was to feast on it for a harvest ceremony. I stole no Koiki, but I wish I had. I would have hid it somewhere most unpleasant. <sighs> you hear this? A second chance we give, and Tamal throws it in our faces. We would have eaten the last of the Kawiki as a tribe. This way, we give our thanks to Kahopa, the eel of life. Now this cannot happen. Our harvest fails because this one puts his empty stomach higher than the gods. This is not done. To consume the fruit, seeds, and all. This is how we pray to Kahopa for bounty. I say I deserve what others have in plenty. Shade, a full belly, a moment to kneel on cool sands. We stopped being a tribe when Ruanu dragged us into the path of the outsiders. Now we can only save ourselves. You shame us, Tamau. To return in your next life as a coconut crab would be too kind. Lied and stolen? Akira. When we have food, he takes more than he deserves. He steals baskets and pots, and even pilfered a spearhead from a warrior on the hunt. I say there is no person in Tikawara who he has not wronged in some way. Maybe no person in the Deadfire. I say missing food is not the problem. Tamao betrays the tribe, dishonors the Raparo, denies all of us Kahopa's mercy. And he will surely wash back into our nets as a mudfish in the next life if he does not tell us where the Kawiki fruit is! Hidden from all the sand crabs and liars, I say. Ikira, that is no work of mine. Though I want to see you lose a finger to the crabs digging up the rest. I say I'm beyond finished. For this, I'll feed you to Ngati myself. With respect, it is not for you to question how I protect the tribe and appease the gods. Unless you think someone else is to blame. For what do you meddle in? Tomorrow goes nowhere. The gods are patient, I say. Quit your chirping. I have no fish for you. Full tides. The high tide is stingy with fish, and the low tide even more so. 
Himwihi and the other Mataru found them when they explored the island. Said maybe we train them to build. And if the soil and sea are misers here, then we eat them. Ikira. Tamau was creeping around the drying hut where we stored Kawiki for the ceremony. North of our Ranga's home, I grabbed Tamau by the wrist and dragged him to Makumu. We found all of the Kawiki were gone. The snake brought this on himself, I say. Now Makumu will deliver him to Tangaloa's maw, where he belongs. Tamau is the thief. Ikira, day and night I catch fish for the tribe. It is said the gods piss on the souls of liars before sending them back to Aora as Krill. Tamau stole no Koiki. Kahopa must have made Tamau from sand lice, because he gives nothing to the tribe, only takes. No! Ikira, I did not do this. I provide for the tribe. Not like that louse Tamau. Ikira. I say Tamau is guilty even if he has no Koiki juice on his hands. He hates the tribe. Pity and charity fill his belly and shell pouch. And he has not strained a muscle to serve anyone but himself. Knowing this does not bring the Koiki back to the drying hut, but it will help to heal the tribe. No. He wants the Koiki and the guilty. So do we all, I say. I cannot say if the true thief covered their tracks since Makumu never looked for clues. But the drying hut? Ikira, in his sandals, this is where I would look. I don't know how long a man could last out here like that. You look at me for what? To watch me shrivel up in the sun? Then maybe you ask someone with both feet on the ground. I need to conserve my strength. I have seen better days than this. I labor for the tribe, but Aoranga saves the best of everything for his warriors. For what does a warrior need with a full stomach when we are not at war? If only my brain and belly had coordinated, I say I would have tried sooner. Pikeho hates me because I insult his puny catches of fish. All he does is weigh down his boat. For this, he accuses me. Keho says I was skulking by the drying hut north of the Ranga's home. Akira, this is so. I would have taken the Kohiki, but it was already gone. I stole no Kohiki. And you are not my Renga. Unless you come to put a spear through Mukumu's eye, keep your distance, I say. It is said the Roparu share one empty stomach. Blame any of them, I say. The tribe drives me out like jerky because I am hated, not because I am a Kowiki thief. Dim in the lantern. I'll see what I can find. What say? You are new to Tikiwar? I weave baskets and mats, strong and soft, just as my mother's cousin taught me. In the afternoon, I will go to the trading post to sell them. Of course, all that I earn goes back to the Ranga first. This is price share. Ikira, we trust in our Ranga to dispense our food, goods, and coin to the tribe. The Mataru get the best of all. And then the Quaru. The Raparu share what is left among themselves. Mukumu sees to it that Tamau is made an example of what breaking prize share looks like. Only that Tamau is slept like a fat tortoise, while the rest of us chew on reeds to fool our bellies. Ikira, no one could be less surprised. Tamau had this coming. For what do you come to me then? Guilty or no? Being tossed to the waves is what Tamau deserves. 
I have no tears for him. He complained until Oranga gave him my finest mats, and then left him out for the sport of beasts. Let the gods sort him. The tribe has challenges enough without Juana eating from each other's plates. You overstep for a stranger, an outsider. I say you should go back to the shore that welcomes you. You can trust me. <gasps> Found something. You need For what do you follow me? I stole the Koiki. Not Tamau. Ruanu would have us waste our last Koiki on a ceremony to the gods. I say the seeds must be harvested and planted. So I hide them by the shore, where the sun warms the sand just so. And I wait. Ikira, do you cultivate? Kowiki is tough, stubborn. It does not surrender without a fight. I let Amira's hot breath warm the heart of the seeds and tell them to grow. Ruanu would not understand. A Kuwaru like me is no farmer. It is not my place to decide what is harvested. But if I can spring life from the Kowiki seeds, then we have a chance to feed the tribe on a new crop. At least, what tribe still lives by the time the fruit grows? What say? He has stolen, insulted us, even hurled insults at the gods. He is no innocent, I say. If birthing a new crop of Koiki means his sacrifice, even Ngadi would forgive this. Ikira, but say nothing. If Ruana takes back the Koiki, we will grow nothing else in time to sustain the tribe. I beg of you, for the good of the tribe, let Tumau meet the gods that the rest of us might eat again. Yes, hello. Whatever you need, I can help. It is not worth dirtying my blade. Try not to sicken the gatti on your way down her more. Coward. I will take this satisfaction to my next life. <laughs> 